messy. All right, we're gonna take this piece of paper, we're gonna cut it in half. Perfect. We're going to take the Elmer's glue and we are going to put a small strip, very light, at the very top of that half sheet of paper. You're going to take your dowel and put it almost in the middle, almost up to the glue, but not touching the glue. And then you're going to get it real tight and roll all the way up to the glue. Perfect. You're going to wipe off the excess glue, try not to get it on the dowel. And then you're going to slide it right off. And you're going to let it dry. So now we have three tubes we're going to be using. Alright, we're going to do one more example, a small strip of glue, use the dowel, roll up, Oh, that's okay. Let's roll it again. Awesome. Let's slide it off. All right, so now we're gonna not use the dowel right now. We will do a couple more of those for our final product, but for now we're gonna move on to cutting the cardboard straws in half. Um, this is an optional. You don't have to have the cardboard or paper straws. You can just continue doing the glue rolled strips, um, but this is another easy way to Another way to make tubes, paper tubes. Yep, so we can, we're can. we just going to cut a few of those in half. Um, and those will also serve as the little bee, bee homes. And you can use any color paper straw. I just found these yellow, um, yellow and white ones at Michael's. Awesome. So, um, we're gonna open one of our modeling clays. All right. Awesome. So what we're going to do with the modeling clay is we're going to set it down. Um, and we're going to take, we're going to pretend like we're a cookie cutter, like our B-tube is a cookie cutter. So we're going to flatten it out. It's probably not. 
All right, we're gonna flatten it out and make it thin. All right, we're gonna take one of our straws and we're gonna put the end in like a cookie cutter and then we want the we want the clay to be stuck in. Perfect. And just make it kind of flat at that end and just set it aside. We're gonna do that on all of our all of our B tubes. Okay, and check back with us later this week to finish up your bee box. Um, you have to let the clay dry overnight for 24 hours so that it's hardened. Thanks, have a good day.